Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to remove the hard drive from a Western Digital Easy Store. This is a 14 terabyte model, and a lot of people refer to this as shucking. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this drive out and I'll be putting it in my Synology NAS. So if you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to this in the description. So these drives can often be had for less money than buying the individual drives. Individual drives might be better, but you know, you might not need, if it's not enterprise grade, like I'm using this in a home, these might be fine. So I've taken the hard drive out of the package. There's also a power supply and cable in here. So we'll need some tools. I have an Epsung tool kit here. I also have a variety of these guitar pick tools, although they're not actually guitar picks. Guitar picks would actually probably work better if you have some, but I have these in this kit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the backside in a couple key places, and this case will slide off. So I have another one here that I've already done. So the places you'll be putting the picks are right by the USB 3.0 port here. This vent here, there's these two double slots. Just below that, there's a clip. On the other side, around where the Kensington lock is, and then at this position right here. So this is a little tricky, it doesn't stand up on its own. So I'll be taking the pick and I'll be putting that in here, like so. Now the thinner picks work better because they're less likely to pop out. These often will pop out. Okay, so I have picks in at those four locations. I'll tilt it up on its side. Now I'm going to pry in here, and I have a spudger tool, and I'll also use one of these picks to get it started. So I've opened that up a little bit. I can put the pry tool in there. Okay, there we go. We'll do the other end now. There, and now the whole thing should slide apart. I might stick this tool in here to help. There we go. So now we have it apart. So to take this out, you want it in this position. We'll lift up on this side carefully, and I'll have it clear this area, and I'll pull the drive out like so. Okay, so this has a light pipe here stuck into this threaded area. We'll pull that out. Okay. And I forgot to mention, you may want to test your drive before you do this shucking process. So here on the other side, we have a number two Phillips screw. I'll loosen that, take it out. Now this board will slide off. So I'll just carefully pull that out. Next, we'll take these rubber bushings off. I'll use a T10 Torx bit to take these out. There we go. So now this is ready to go in my NAS. So from the searching I've done online, this is supposedly a helium filled drive and it's 7200 RPM. Now I haven't confirmed that on my own, but that's a pretty decent drive. So I'm going to put this in my Synology NAS. You could use this in another NAS device. Is it as reliable as a traditional NAS drive? I don't know, but I will say I always do have backups and this is actually a backup to a NAS, but some stuff does go on this NAS and it gets backed up to a second NAS. So I think the backup is as important or more important than the drives you use. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.